This is again more heavily focused on Sean. It's kind of just been Daniel that we've been focused on, you know? So it's kind of nice to actually get... Like, you're wearing the bandage here. I guess it would get in the socket, so... Yeah, the bruises. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Hmm. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Wonder how long Karen has been here. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. This country is just way too big. Hmm. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Any open apps that should be okay for basic browsing and geocast password is one. Okay, I can actually go on there. Probably do. I that. really should finish reading this someday. I got picked by a truck and I fell away from the point. I was nervous, but the guy was sweet. He even hooked me up a sandwich. We needed the boost. Okay, Danny has been brainwashed by a cult. Yeah. He wanted to stay with them. I fucked up with Jenna. I fell right into a trap. I'm so stupid. Karen, Nada. I actually, I actually like this one more than the skull. Ah, shit, this seems like main story. Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Uh, there was some there was some problems in strong missing. I'm Daniel. Uh, he gave me this peel box. So if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. Oh, so even Jacob recognized the danger of Reverend. I'm not going out. Better wait for Karen in here. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Okay. Uh, two. Yay! Technology. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But hmm. nobody will find me there. Better than this nothing. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. 
Oh, I can draw. Good. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. Probably gonna go out and watch a video of all the drawings. These mountains really inspire me. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and... I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Got a good picture of it. These drawings are nice. I'm ready to draw now. Is that it or... I could see myself huh. stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long... <sighs> Alright, back to reality, dude. Alright, uh... You've come a long, sweater. long way, buddy. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Alright. Uh, Karen's always oh into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. <clears throat> Kinda pretty. I can look into a bag. Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but whatever. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. I feel there's no time. Young cook called Karen, brother, boyfriend, boyfriend, apologize to the 2017 young folks are still busy making babies. Yes, no, no, no changes. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice, twice. My son too. So she did. So she. So she does poems instead of drawing. I see. Call Jacob because I think this will continue the story. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. I mean, Jacob is ostracized because he lost his faith. And then... Damn. Went on this journey, so... He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Wait for Karen to come back. Okay. I'm so drained. Oh, bet. Okay. Wait for Karen. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back.
Well, she doesn't have a reason to just up and disappear now, especially without her stuff. Hey, so. sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We just got lucky, and got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did, and why. If you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. It felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, 
I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. <sighs> she... I feel like she's trying to say that she, uh, that she liked the, she's trying to say that she didn't like the choice she did, but she also liked it, you know, about living on this world life, but she also didn't consider the possibility of just simply talking, maintaining a connection with Sean, Daniel, and Esteban, you know, like, she just dumped everyone in her life, and that's kind of... Kind of the shitty thing that is going on, and what she, I don't think she's realizing is that she dumped everyone, and then didn't bother to try and like maintain a connection. If she told everyone this was a plan, I'm pretty sure the fallout right now would not be as bad as if, as what had already happened. If she had tried to maintain a connection, a simple, just simple like photos, met letters, or anything like that, you know, if she tried to maintain that connection. But she just disappeared, and that is, and this is why Sean is just so emotional about it, you know? Like, I'm dictating what emotion he's feeling, but that's kind of what's going on with him. So, it's, it's kind of just, yeah... I'm not. We were a real family. Without you. Well, Esteban was meant to be a father. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. We've got no one left. Are we going to have another dream sequence here, or, or is that just going to be it and she's going to not bother to go out after Sean? Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's a simple fact that she didn't even try to be that part-time. Because it could have been what exactly the balance that she was looking for. The adventurous life that she clearly wanted. Alongside being a... Inside that, you know, expectation that society expected her. And thus... Most likely have Sean and Daniel be much more... Stable people, you know? So, 
What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. You just sound... immature. Like a kid running away from home. You're right. I do. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. So, did you ever actually miss us or dad of course sean i do miss your father he had such a big heart he could brighten up a rainy day that was like his superpower but above all i missed watching you grow up see how you saw the world i missed sharing these moments with you sean Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. Hmm. I, I'm standing by the thing that she should have at least maintained some form of contact because I, I still believe that would have been best for everyone, for all parties involved. And I am, and I am agreeing with my choices that I'm making here. Like none of these choices are choices that I'm doing and regretting saying, because they all feel like I, something I, if I was in this situation, I would try something along those lines, you know. And so, so, seems like a uh, nice little moment of just calm and comfort. Okay, I didn't want to ask for the smoke because I kind of want to try and get Sean to stop smoking, but, uh, yeah, uh, I don't really have anything more to say right now. Kind of lost train of thoughts, but, so let's just 
Let's go back we should inside. go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? No. I got this. So... You feel like telling me the story here? Not really. Gotcha. Here, try this on. Yeah, I feel I feel like it is best to have her help, but also, yeah, also she got to understand that Dan that Sean is still mad, and, that, and that's not going to change this just because you just appeared and started talking. How do I look? Great. Thanks. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Not sure how I feel about the eye patch. I think the guy, I think the bandages look fits Sean's model much better. The meeting point next day. All right. Uh, yeah, the notebook is... So we got medical stuff, walkie-talkie, just in case, and what did we say? Cameron wants to talk. It's hard, but I'm trying to hear her out. Not sure if I understand what she's been through or what she's after, after but I can try. Alrighty. I hope Jacob makes it. I really want to understand what the fuck's going on with this church. Is it kind of bad? Sure, he's gonna show up. He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. 
like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, shocked and mute, and all by himself. I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Meryl's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. Finn's murder. The blast. Daniel feels he's gotta redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too, Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel, okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Okay, I have a feeling I have a feeling about a couple choices and impacts on how this episode will end. One, if we help Jacob get Sarah Lee back, and so we'll most likely have to convince Sarah Lee, and I'm not sure how I'm going to possibly do that. Two, if we can convince if Daniel ever meets Karen, that's probably some one of them. And three, what happens to the Reverend Mother? And I think that might be a Sean decision at the end of the day. Because there's also like the choices that happened before, like uh, the, uh, was it Jeremy or Jacob? I can't remember his name. Uh, the, host the nurse, uh, did the nurse help Daniel, I mean, Sean escape or, and stuff like that. Like, I think that's kind of what goes on. And, like, the other stuff, like, did Sean fight back against those guys who attacked him earlier and things like that. I think that's how this is going to go down.
because this feels like sort of the midway to to midway climax, you know? 